Hello guys and welcome to this quick video of the Chinese robot I just bought. Uh, as you can see it's a Scara robot uh, and I bought it on Alibaba. I was looking actually for the Dubot but the Dubot did not have the range I needed uh, so I thought that this was cheaper and uh, actually a fun way to try to control Scara robot so I just went ahead and bought it. As we can see it is uh, controlled by an Arduino Do. Uh, I had just had this one lying around, so and then I put these uh, shields on, so it was easy to screw on. Then I bought a, a 24 volts uh, DC uh, power supply from eBay, together with these uh, four uh, drivers, and they are the uh, Leadshine digital stepping driver. Uh, I've worked quite a lot with the different stepper drivers and I like the geckos but I must admit these are smooth like you wouldn't believe it you can see when the robot begins to run but uh, anyway let's take a look at the robot here so okay there's uh, some really good thing about the robot but there's also some really bad stuff uh, I was prepared for this but as you can see here this one it is pretty pretty uh, stiff it's okay stiff I mean it seems to keep the position and so on and usually with the scare robot you need to pick something up from this surface and upwards and not do anything that requires a lot of torque so you just need the position over it and this is very very good but there is a problem however so I'm just gonna disconnect it here and two seconds come out like so so I can manipulate the robot and this is if it's over here Right, and now I'm gonna put in the again so the robot's gonna stiffen up. But as you can see, this time there's a lot of sloppy. Uh, it's very sloppy. And if we look at the the reason for this is this. So uh, I don't know if you can see this down here, but this pulley here that drives around and turns this belt, and this belt engages uh, this big pulley here. And I think that this big pulley has actually been put on uh, uh, out of, it's not aligned with the axes, which means that once it's over here, this belt gets quite loose. As you can see, I'm pushing the belt and you should be able to see that the arm is actually moving when I push the belt like this. But I'm just gonna disconnect it again. And then I'm gonna turn the robot like this. And I'm going to put it in again, like so. Okay, and now you will see that I push the same here, but it is stiff. Really, really, really stiff down here. So, this one is not aligned. Uh, I will have to take this one apart because I cannot live with that kind of... Uh, I cannot live with the slip uh, in that thing. And if we look down here, you can see another... Oh, I just need my camera to focus, yes, you see here. It's quite nice with all the pulleys and so on, and I was thinking about building my own, but I don't think that even if I try to source just the, the pulleys and the bearing holders and so on, I would probably end up paying the same as I have for this one. So I must say for the price, I cannot complain. And actually, I think, I have not looked for all of this, but maybe... I can adjust me out of this issue, but okay. But anyway, let's uh, try to run the robot just to see if it's so okay. So I wrote this code. It's just a it's a Arduino IDE I used. So we start the serial monitor here. And I don't know if you can see this, guys. No, it's probably too bright. Well, anyway, I'm just communicating via the serial monitor. So I give the command like uh, G0 and it will zero all the access. And we can see how this one just, just it is on. Okay, so we're going to zero the access. Now it's going to for the set axis and you can see it goes very slowly down. It clicks and then it begins going. And you can see the little, the little one down there, this one. It will hit the little screw going up there, quite clever. And then it will go a little bit back and then very slowly towards the screw just to make it very precise. 
Now we take the B axis and it goes in. And again, you can hear it is very, very still. Ah, I don't know what happened there. It, it almost does not say anything. So let's try to give it command here. Let's go to A swing to A10,000 and let's take B. Um, B minus 2000 and let us go to set 15,000 so again this is a, a quite many steps but let's try see what happens yeah so again this was a 8 10,000 so you can see that as a I think there might be 30,000 steps going all the way around due to the gearing and so on Let's try to go to a 30,000 and make B go to 5,000 and then let's make the set go down to around a thousand. Okay, coming up now. So you can hear this little ring 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 skipping in it and that's probably because I'm overloading the do I'm using the Excel step library and uh, and even the do uh, having problem pulsing this many times but anyway I mean it works let's try to make it go back to a zero B zero and then let's make it go to set 15,000 Again, it's very, very quiet. But anyway, this is my short update and review. And oh, just uh, I want to uh, mention some things that I think it's possible to actually make this one run faster. Um, I have uh, ordered the ESP32. Uh, so I'm going to try to put this one on. As you can see, there's actually no need to run the, the larger do. It will fit on a... Uh, Arduino Uno, oh no, Arduino, uh, uh, the standard Arduino form factor. Yeah, yeah, you know how that one looks. But the thing is that it will not have enough computational power to move uh, the robot that fast as you require. So uh, stick to the, the more beefier ones that can calculate more. Hence, I would like to try the ESP because that will run our clock frequency at 240 hertz. Um, maybe someone else have a good idea how I simply can fix the code to make it run faster. Uh, but I really like the Excel stepper library because it makes it very easy to control. And I don't want to write like a thousand lines of code because this one actually works quite well. So, yeah, I think this was it. So, um, if you guys have any questions, just uh, write me and I will try to answer the questions as good as I can.